Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how to calculate probabilities using the F distribution in the TI-84. The F distribution shows up in certain cases like the ANOVA, uh, and it also will show up in certain things like uh, hypothesis testing of uh, standard deviations. Uh, there's shows, shows up in a couple of different places. So if we want to calculate the probabilities for the F distribution, um, we need to use the F CDF. F distribution is like the normal distribution in that is a continuous distribution. Um, and so again, the, the PDF is basically only going to be used for graphing. And we are only going to use the CDF to perform calculations. Now, the FCDF function is going to work somewhat similarly to the normal distribution in that we're going to need to specify a lower and an upper bound. And then we're going to have two degrees of freedom that we have to enter for our um, distribution. So there's going to be a degrees of freedom for the numerator and a degrees of freedom for the denominator. Um, sometimes these are specified with different notations. Sometimes you'll see them referred to um, as uh, uh, the value nu, that's the Greek letter nu, um, but it is going to come from our the, the, the numerator of our calculation and the denominator of our calculation. So if you're doing the calculations, you'll know what these degrees of freedom are. Um, but for the ANOVA, for instance, uh, one of them is going to be related to the total number of observations, and one of them is going to be related to the number of groups uh, within our ANOVA. But for our purposes right now, we're not going to worry about where those degrees of freedom come from, simply how to enter them into the calculator. Now, the F distribution um, is a skewed distribution. Uh, when the degrees of freedom are relatively small, you do get uh, a very skewed distribution where uh, the probability actually peaks at zero. When the numerator degrees of freedom start to get larger, in particular, um, relative to the size of the denominator, then you do get these uh, more, again, still skewed distributions, but where the maximum is going to occur someplace other than zero. Now, if we want to calculate our um, F statistic, uh, again, we've done a calculation. Again, maybe this is in the context of a hypothesis test for standard deviations, which is not built into the TI, or uh, we're doing an ANOVA calculation by hand and we want to know where all of these numbers are coming from. Um, another, another thing we might want to do is if we're doing a two-way ANOVA, uh, two-way ANOVAs are not built into the TI calculator, one-way ANOVAs are, but if you're doing a two-way ANOVA, then you still, you can't put the data in and have the TI do it for you, but you can still use the TI to calculate your probabilities. So here we have our F statistic that we've calculated from some example as 3.528. And our test has 21 degrees of freedom in the numerator and 12 degrees of freedom in the denominator. And so again, we would enter this uh, in uh, slightly, if we're in classic mode, uh, the FCDF function would come up on the screen and we would enter the lower bound, the upper bound, um, in most of these cases, we're going to be looking for great this value or greater in hypothesis testing, uh, more extreme than this value. So we would have the upper bound be our E99, our infinity, quote unquote, in our calculator. And then the degrees of freedom from the numerator and the degrees of freedom from the denominator. In the stat wizard mode, you will get a screen that's going to remind you of the order to put these in. Again, our probabilities are going to be greater than this F statistic. And so the lower bound will be our statistic in most cases. Um, the upper bound will be E99. The DF numerator will be the degrees of freedom from the numerator. And the DF denominator will be the degrees of freedom from the denominator. And again, the comma, uh, as you're entering them on the classic mode, is above the 7, 
But if you're using a stat wizard mode, after you enter the number, just scroll down. And then when you get to the bottom uh, and you in the stat wizard mode, if you hit paste, uh, it will paste this syntax on the screen just like this and then hit enter to actually calculate the probability. In this particular example, uh, we ended up with a probability of around 1.4%, uh, which is less than 5%. And so this would pass you know, your typical statistical test. Uh, we would reject the null uh, if we were doing something like an ANOVA or something like that. Again, the if you want to graph the the functions like so, then you would need to use the FPDF, and it would work very similarly to the way that the normal PDF works. Uh, I don't have any videos on graphing using these functions, but you never know. I might decide to make one at some point in the future. But if you're calculating probabilities. Uh, you would not use the PDF, you would only use the CDF.